Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another episode of us talking about the four pillars of education. Today I'm actually going to be talking about a pillar that, a, a portion of it that, a bit difficult to explain but not impossible. Um, the pillar I'm going to be talking about today, or the portion I'm going to be talking about today, uh, is to live together. Now... This is more metaphorical, by the way, rather than literal. So don't take it too down the path of actually living in one being. In a way, that's metaphorical, but in the same way, it's not. Um, kind of like a society kind of thing. So, previous to this, you have to learn and to do. To learn is to accept the fact that you're willing to actually, you know, learn and take in what others have to teach. To do is to actually start taking action on the learning and present the fact that you did learn something. To live together is where you really start applying all of this. Um, it's very similar to the 2B, but there is slight difference. In psychology, there's a portion of your mind that actually kind of is the it showcases the aspect of wanting to fit in. That's kind of where the to live together portion kind of um, settles in. However, it's on you to decide where exactly you do fit in, and your actions of what you decide to present of what you've learned decided you have learned. That's where you kind of. Uh, devote that live together aspect. Um, what group, what culture and or group are you living by or living with in this matter? Exactly how are you approaching it? That's kind of where this particular portion of the four pillars is where the third one really kind of comes into play. It basically asks you the question, what are you going to take from what you've learned and have taken in as far as your learnings go? What are you going to apply to reality? Now you've, because at this point, you basically already accepted the fact that you want to learn and you've taken everything in and pretty much showcased, as in like going through school and all that kind of stuff. At this point, that's done and done. But how are you going to approach it? What are you going to apply? Now this is very similar to the last one which we will get to next time. And this one wasn't going to be very long because it's so similar to the next one but it's something to consider I suppose. Now this is my take on it. It's not the direct definition of it. I'm not, I have looked it up. I have decided to void from using the direct definition or the direct aspect to make sure that I can still give my own thoughts on the matter. The only reason I did look it up was to make sure I didn't stray too far. And like the third pillar, this is the main reason why, so I can give my own take my own outlook on this very particular pillar. But how about you guys? What is your guys' outlook on the third pillar uh, to live together? Let us know in the comments below. I know it's been a hot minute since the last of the four to do. I know it's been a hot minute since I did that one last, but there's been a lot going on recently. And like I said, and I believe it was yesterday's video, we're going to get back into the swing of things, me meaning hopefully very soon we will get to the last of the four pillars, to be, um, which I will go in very a lot of detail about because that's where, in my opinion, psychology really comes into play. Your own thought process. But like I said, that's for next time we do talk about this group of pillars. In the meantime, thanks for tuning into this one, guys. If you liked it, give the video a like, uh, and consider subbing to the channel. 
We talk about psychological related things all the time. Um, sometimes educational stuff as well. Um, however, if you do want to check out the rest of this playlist, if you missed anything, click the link on the side of my head here. Um, and you'll be able to check it out there. Or if this isn't quite floating your boat, why not click the link on the other side where you may find something you may enjoy a little bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, guys. And just making sure we're set to go. Hope to catch you guys in another video. See you guys later.